Hi, I'm Rob Simmons, Product Manager with Garrett Advancing Motion. The topic I'm going to present is turbo system optimization. While turbocharger selection is a critical part of your project, selecting the correct mating components is equally as important. Optimizing the entire system ensures that the engine will make the target horsepower and everything functions properly. What I hope you take away from this is not only a better understanding of turbo system components, but also where you can find this information for future use and projects. The areas that I'm going to cover are based on questions that we've received during trade shows and races, as well as areas I feel are commonly overlooked. So let's get started. A lot of information will be covered. So to review this information at a later time, you can go to GarrettMotion.com, Racing and Performance, How to Choose a Turbo, down to Turbo System Optimization. The Garrett Motion website contains a lot of helpful information. It contains product information about turbos, intercoolers, and ancillary components. It goes over Garrett's technology and product development, as well as our involvement in OEMs and motorsports. It contains tech tutorials written by the engineers from basic to advanced up to expert level, where detailed formulas are used to plot operating points on a compressor map to help select the correct turbo. It also contains news and events, as well as a distributor locator. The website contains extensive information, both general and technical, and I encourage everyone to look through it. No matter what your experience level, I'm sure you'll find information that will help you in your specific application, or simply increase your knowledge of turbos and turbo systems. The most important thing to understand before designing a system is the application. Is it going to be used for road racing, drag racing, or drifting? Maybe it will be primarily a street-driven car. The intended use greatly affects the turbo selection as well as the system components. The turbo system that works well for a nine-second drag car is most li likely not going to work well for a drift car or road race car. You need to have a target horsepower in mind. The horsepower value, value will be used to help design the entire system. For turbo matching, you can go to GarrettMotion.com. Within the product pages, which are located at Racing and Performance, Performance Products, and Turbochargers, each page has a horsepower and displacement for that specific model. The keys to identifying your potential turbo match lie within these ranges. So it's important to have your target horsepower and engine displacement as you look for these turbochargers to align with your requirements. You could also use the Boost Advisor to assist with turbo selection. Additionally, you can review TurboTech's Basic, Advanced, and Expert, which are located at Racing and Performance, How to Choose, choose a Turbo, TurboTech Expertise. Using the formulas in TurboTech Expert, calculate the mass flow and pressure ratio at Redline for your specific application. Then you can plot this mass flow and pressure ratio on several compressor maps to determine the best fit. For the example in this presentation, the application will be a 400 horsepower streetcar using pump gas, therefore the estimated mass flow will be 40 pounds per minute. This concludes the video presentation. I hope you found this information helpful. As I mentioned at the beginning of the presentation, this information is available on the Garrett Motion website along with other general and technical information. Thank you for your time and good luck with your future turbo projects.